Hello friends, I am back with a quick and simple snack recipe that you all are going to love it. And it's a healthy version too, so that makes it even more attractive. Well, I'm talking about these lemony quinoa oat ladoos. They are absolutely delicious and takes no time to make. So if you all are ready, let's head straight into the list of ingredients and then get going. So all the ingredients have been laid out and I'm ready. Here I get started by squeezing the fresh juice of a lemon. Yep, we need one fourth cup of it and it took me one large lemon to get to that. Next we'll start preparing the quinoa. So place the quinoa and the water in the cooking pot and add one fourth teaspoon of salt. Give it a nice mix and we'll wait for the water to come to a boil. Once the water starts boiling, We'll reduce the heat to medium and then cover the pot with a lid and let the quinoa cook in it. So you can see I have covered the pot with the lid as the water has come to a boil. We'll let the quinoa cook. After 10 to 12 minutes you'll see the quinoa has absorbed all the water. So it's time to shut down the heat and then let the quinoa rest for a while. So you can see the quinoa is now rested. And I'm going to use the fork and fluff the quinoa up. Mm. It's looking good. The quinoa is ready, but it's still warm. So I'm going to set this aside and let it air dry for some time and completely cool down. In the meantime, we are going to coarsely grind the almonds in a coffee grinder. Make sure to do it in small bursts because we don't want the oil of the almonds to be out. There you go. So next, in my grinder, I'm taking uh, the dates. Make sure you have pitted the dates and then chop them uh, slightly. And then go ahead and add the cooled quinoa. Make sure that the quinoa is completely cooled down. Yeah, so add the quinoa. And then add the almonds. Yeah. They have to be dry and then I'm going to pulse them in small bursts yeah there you go so after a few bursts I'm adding the rest of the quinoa and the almond and then I'm going to pulse it again so you can see it will slowly start lumping together and that's where we know that it is mixed well. So remove it in a bowl and then go ahead and add jaggery. Now you can uh, reduce or increase the quantity based on your preferences. And if you want, you can also replace it with honey. Here I'm adding lemon zest and then the lemon juice. Yeah, mm. it's already tasting delicious. And then give it a nice mix make sure everything is well incorporated and at the end add the steel cut oats in small portions and then mix the ingredients yeah make sure you are mixing till everything is well incorporated there's the last bit of the oats yeah, these laddus are absolutely delicious and you see it doesn't take much time to make them ready. Yeah, go ahead and use your hands for that final mix. Mm, nothing works like your hands. Now you can use your hands, take small portions of the mix and roll out laddus using your palms. Yeah, just like this. However, if you really want to be consistent with the size, uh, you can use a scoop so take a scoop of the mix and roll the balls between your palms and there you go so go ahead and prepare uh, the laddus with the rest of the mix in the same way make sure you chill the laddus in the refrigerator before you eat them and you can also store them for a week in the refrigerator and enjoy so there you have a bowl of delicious laddus Go ahead and enjoy. So thank you for watching and do come back for more. And if you really loved these laddus, don't forget to give me a like. And of course, don't miss to subscribe. Till we meet again.
keep cooking and keep baking yes and now it's time for me to enjoy these laddus mm. Mm. they are so good